So I take this signal and I sample it. So now we're at the point of um, analog to digital. And when I do that, I have S prime of K. What I'm doing is I'm basically taking samples every T T sub S second. So remember T sub S is my sampling time. So that means S of K is equal to S of KT sub S. Basically everywhere I have T here, I substitute KT sub S. Cos by FC, KT sub S. And what I'm going to do, okay, this is just my sample signal. So if I have S of K as my sample signal, Remember, we've been dealing with sampled signals this entire time, so that shouldn't be uh, that should be obvious. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to say, um, okay, I have F C and T sub S in here, but um, from the sampled signals perspective, uh, what matters is the product of these two. So I'm going to call F sub D is F C T S, and that's the um, of the, I'm going to call it the digital frequency. So K, it, that's uh, basically what I'm doing here is by collecting FC and TS, I'm expressing this now in terms of, uh, um, I'm expressing the frequency in terms of numbers of samples rather than in terms of time. So FC is the frequency with respect to time, but uh, samples occur every T sub S second. So if I take T sub S and multiply it by FC, I then get the frequency in terms of samples. So I call that the digital frequency, and then I rewrite this as S prime of K. So the signal, S of K, multiplied by cos 2 by F of D. Four pi FDK. 
actually another way of thinking of this, instead of 4 pi f dk, you could think of it as 2 pi 2 f d k. So basically a sinusoid at twice the frequency. So I have sk plus sk cos 2 pi 2 f d k. Okay, what is this? This is just the baseband signal. What is this? This is the baseband signal multiplied by a carrier with frequency 2 f d. So let's plot this in the frequency of okay. So S of k, if I take the Fourier transform of all of this, uh, the Fourier transform distributes over addition. So I have my baseband signal here. Then I have, okay, remember that if I multiply by a sinusoid with a certain frequency, for a transform of this, basically this. Or that's uh, 2FD, and that's minus 2FD. That still holds um, when you're sampling. So basically, if I take this, for your transform is uh, the the baseband the same, I mean this is just the baseband signal, so its Fourier transform is the same as the baseband signal. And I add this, this is what I get. What I really want is this. So how do I get rid of those other guys? I just low pass filter. So if I select some low pass filter, passes all these low frequencies and rejects these high frequencies. And as long as FD is much greater than the bandwidth, then this should work. And what I will end up with is just this. And these higher frequency components are rejected. And all I'm left with is the original Fourier transform of the baseband signal. And the result is that, that that actually represents the baseband signal in, in the time domain. There's another way to think of this. So what I have is, I start with the Fourier transform of the baseband signal, multiplied by cos by FDK. And what did I do? Basically what I do is I take this Fourier transform and repeat it around FD, minus FD. Then I multiply this again by cos by FDK. What does that mean? Basically I take this Fourier transform and repeat it about FD. So that means if I'm taking this, recentering it around FD, then there's a component that's an additional FD up, so that's at 2 FD, and there's a component that is FD down, so that's at zero. And similarly, in the negative frequencies, there's one at minus 2 FD and one at zero. And then I just go past filter to get this. Okay, what happens if, 